Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today we're out here. It's a nice wintry day here in Ohio. It's snow. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing hard. Anyways, I thought what I would do today is kind of walk you guys through the process of octagoning an axe handle. I've mentioned this many times that I would show this process and I haven't gotten to it, but today seems like a good day to do that. So, um, before we can do that though, let's talk about why you might want an octagon handle and what it is. All right, I dug a couple out of the vault here. So, octagon the handle just means that you put flat surfaces in the handle to make it an octagon shape. So I don't know if you can see the faucets. We'll call them faucets. I don't know if that's right. In this handle, but it turns the handle into an octagon. This one's a straight version that needs finished. I never finished it. Oh, look at that crack. This is an early hang. I should probably redo this. It looks like crap all the way around. There's gaps everywhere. It's cool to go back and look at your old work. Anyways. So why, why bother? Why make, why make your handle an octagon? Well, there's really a couple of reasons. Number one, it looks cool. <laughs> Nothing looks more classic than an octagon handle. Number two, it's comfortable. So if you hold your hand like you were going to hold on to an axe handle and you look at it, you can see it's not really round. There's, it's more of an octagon shape. So the idea is the octagon handle fits your hand more comfortably and it does feel more comfortable. I can tell you that. And lastly, a really good reason to octagon a handle. If you happen to have bought a hardware store handle and it is way too thick, there's no better way to thin that handle out than to put an octagon on it. So, and that's what we're going to do with this mall handle. It is pretty thick, thicker than I would prefer. Of course, some folks would argue you want a thicker mall handle on your mall. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and thin it out and take my chances. If it, uh, if it breaks and I'll rehang it, but, um, we're going to thin this handle out using the octagon method and make a nice octagon handle out of this. So stay tuned, show you how we do it. All right, the first thing you're gonna want is a way to secure your work. And I'm gonna use this um, rigid brand, what do they call this thing? Saw horse, vice horse, jaw horse? I don't, I don't remember. If I can find a link to one, I'll put it in the description, but I just bought this at um, Home Depot or something like that. But, uh, you don't have to have one of these to do this. You can secure your axe handle many different ways. This is my preferred method. I also think that if you're gonna do a lot of axe work, one of these is a real good investment. Get locked in there nice and tight. Next thing you're gonna want is a real good high quality rasp. Now, there are some of these available on my website still. These are old, new old stock Nicholson rasp. I got a very small supply of them. Once they're gone, they're gone. If you didn't, if you can't afford one of these or you just don't want one of these, the Shinto rasp is the next best thing. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna make a, what is it? What's an octagon? Three, six, eight. We're gonna make an eight sided handle here. We're just gonna break this down and make it easy. We'll start on the front and back, make them flat. Then we'll 
go to the sides, make those flat, and then we'll connect the sides in the back with flat sides. It'll make sense when we start doing it. So I'm gonna start on the back side, and then I'm basically just gonna go down this handle with my rasp here, and try to stay in the center, flatten it out. Bring you guys in close here to just show you what I'm doing. Just making a nice flat surface right down the middle of the back of the handle. Now you can see I need to work in this area a little bit more. See how the line's not straight? It's kind of curvy and you're just basically looking to get a nice crisp line from front to back. File parallel with the handle, nice and flat and level, and let the uh, rasp, I guess, let the rasp do the work. Don't put, you're not trying to put all, all of your muscle into this. You're let, let the tool work for you. This is the same process too. If this handle was curved, everything stays the same. You just follow the curves. All right, we got our first side done. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this 180 degrees. Do the exact same thing. All right, guys, I got the front and back done. I'm going to start in on the sides. What's nice about the Shinto is it has a fine side and a coarse side. And the fine side's really nice at getting nice crisp edges and smoothing this out. The downside is it clogs up all the time. 
All right, let's see if we can get you guys a shot on where we're at. So we have four flat sides. And I'm try I tried to get them as even as possible. I can see there's a couple spots here where they're they're not great. But we're gonna we're gonna bring this all together now and we should be able to straighten out some of those spots where it's just a little little off. But hopefully you can see that. We have four flat sides. So now all I'm gonna do is flatten this angle right here so that it's even with the edges of the opposing flat sides. So we're just gonna knock this corner down and make it flat. That's all we're doing. And then we're gonna do it three more times. And then we'll have our octagon handle. Guys, we've got our basic rough shape finished. I'll tell you what, that feels much better. It's a much, much thinner handle now. It's, it fits right in my hand. Nice ergonomics. Next thing we got to do is sand this. Now, when you're sanding this, you want to sand it the same way you took the material off. Flat, one flat side at a time. You don't want to do any rolling over the edges. You want to try and keep these edges nice and crisp because they're going to get rounded over anyway. So you want to avoid over rounding them because you'll take away your octagon pretty quick. So we're going to sand the flats in the same manner that we filed them. And then we'll, uh, we'll get this handle nice and smooth and get it finished up. And that's good. What? You didn't think I was going to sand this by hand, did you? Uh-uh. I hate sanding. Nope. If you're wondering, I'm, I'm going to start with 80 grit sandpaper. I'll probably work my way up to... I don't know. We'll see. Life hack. Use sandpaper like it's free because life is too short. Did I mention I hate sanding? Getting to the finishing part of this anyway. But turned, it's turned out pretty good. I, these are not the deepest faucets I've ever had or made on a handle, but this one's pretty comfortable. So I'm, a, I'm excited for that. This wasn't a super thick handle to begin with either. So I didn't want to get too carried away, but we, we got a pretty good octagon shape going. It's probably really hard to pick up in the camera. So I just did a quick wipe down of the handle. That helps uh, get the uh, sawdust out of any cracks or grooves or whatever. And I'm just kind of looking at it, making sure I don't need to sand anymore. So from this point, if you were just going to sand, you'd just take it up to the next grit, probably 120. Probably 220 is about as much as you would ever need. 
But I don't like sanding and sanders are annoying. So I'm gonna finish this handle off with a hand scrape. Traditional woodworking finish. All this is is a uh, wood scraper. That's what you call it, but it, it really is a piece of saw blade that's been uh, cut to that's been cut to size. And uh, basically, all you do is <laughs> scrape scrape away wood. I'll tell you guys, there is no finish like like a wood scraper can do. Stuff just starts looking like glass. Lighting's kind of important on this too, to be able to see your edges, like this edge and this edge. You kind of need some to play with the lighting a little bit. Probably could put some chalk on here or something to help guide you a little better. Guys, last thing I'm gonna do is give this handle a good, a good uh, scrubbing with a four aught steel wool. Kind of burnishes the wood. And if there's any sharp edges on that octagon, that's gonna kind of round those over a little bit, which is what we've been trying to avoid the whole time. But this won't. This won't take enough away to ruin your octagon. And now it's time to finish. Alright, so I had to get a little creative. We weren't really sitting here, but I got it out. So I want to catch my breath. 